Hi, Cheryl. How are you? I'm good. Uh, George, how are you? Very good. Thanks for talking again. I'm just waiting for my director to cue me and we can start. You bet. Well, summer is here, and of course, the 4th of July is right around the corner. Joining us is celebrity chef George Duran, and he's going to share his grilling tips, recipes, and the shortcuts he uses to make the most of his cookouts. Ever get burned using wooden skewers for kebabs? Use carrots instead of skewers. You can eat them. Another big question for July 4th grillers, how do you and your guests stay cool? Je Chef Duran has some great ideas for that, too. Hi, George. It's good to have you here. Thank you so much, Cheryl. You know, it is true. It's getting hot. It's summertime, and they're saying it's going to be hot when the summer. And to stay cool, you, what you want to do is add some color to your 4th of July barbecue with Spirinoff ice, red, white, and berry-flavored malt beverage. It is perfect in a bottle or a can or in this festive punch. Or use Smirnoff's red, white, and berry limited edition spirit to make the America Mule drink with cherry, blue, raspberry, and citrus flavor combinations. Both of these drinks are so refreshing. You can also add a Smirnoff 21 to freshly brewed green tea to make my green tea martini. This Capresso Ice Tea Maker makes up to 80 ounces of your favorite tea in as little as 10 minutes and custom brews using this gorgeous glass pitcher. You can adjust from mild to strong with Capresso's flavor enhancer and it works with tea bags or use the removable permanent filter for loose tea. Now for the main course I've cooked up these beautiful herb chicken kebabs or try my mouth-watering pineapple chicken salsa. The key to both of these dishes is a fresh flavorful chicken. Just Bear Chicken has natural and organic varieties with no antibiotics ever, no added hormones, no animal byproducts and no artificial additives. All right let's talk a little bit about cheese. I'm using Jarlsberg with its mild nutty and mellow flavor flavors to make my exclusive burgers. This is my marvelous meltdown with ooey gooey Jarlsberg cheese fondue on top of it. How about my melted Maui Madness? It uses pineapples for buns for a sweet and low carb burger. Now starting July 2nd, head to Jarlsberg.com to get all my recipes and to enter their sizzling summer burger contest to win a grill kit and even a big green egg. Okay, so if you're looking to complement your summer recipes with a great snack, you gotta try pop chips. My favorites are spicy zesty jalapeno cheddar and sea salt. Plus, they have a bigger crunch line of ridges with buffalo ranch, tangy barbecue, and cheddar and sour cream. The best part is that they're never fried and have half the fat of regular chips so you can eat well and feel good all summer long. And finally, for the sweet stuff, that's right, dessert. We have Hostess here with the Bakery Petites Cake Delights and Crispy Thins. These Cake Delights are white fudge vanilla cake balls. The chocolate brownie Crispy Thins are the first thin crispy cookie to hit the baked goods aisle. Hostess Bakery Petites have no artificial flavors, colors, high fructose corn syrup, and of course, they're baked in the USA. And this is my entire barbecue lineup. What do you think? Sounds good, but you know, I like the fact that you like to put a, a different twist on a lot of different recipes. That's very important to have a little bit of imagination. I can come up with the idea, just execute it at home, simple as that. And something as simple as adding pineapple to your meals, boy, that really delicious, sweet flavor it accompanies a lot of meats very easily. And I like what you did with the green tea. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. You could take green tea and just serve it just like that as a great antioxidant or make it into a nice, sophisticated martini using Smirnoff 21. Yeah, I like the martini idea a lot <laughs> You better. like the martini idea? All right, you are my type of guest, absolutely. <laughs> so, George, where do we go to learn more? Yeah, all of this information and all the recipes that you see here, check, that, check it out at dailylounge.com. Okay. Well, George, it's always a pleasure. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Happy Fourth of July. Uh, same to you. And we'll be...